Tony Mongero, the CEO of Healthland Spa. He has been a pioneer in accepting cryptocurrencies as payment for services for five years. On average, his services cost about $30 and can be paid for using Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency. He says it's proven to be a popular form of payment. Many customers have also seen that we are accepting Bitcoin, which is a modern form of payment, and they've decided when, when do they come, they can enjoy our massage services and pay using Bitcoin because it's safe, secure, and also very con convenient. A recently released report by Chain Analysis ranks Kenya as a leader in peer-to-peer -peer trading of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. The Global Crypto Adoption Index takes into account the number of cryptocurrency deposits and internet users. David Gitonga is the co-founder of Bitcoin KE, a three-year-old organization whose main goal is to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer trading, and that includes educating users on blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin KE says on average it brings around 70,000 visitors to its platform daily. Gitonga says many enjoy the peer-to-peer -peer trading. In Kenya, peer-to-peer uh, -peer is actually the easiest way for people to get into cryptocurrencies. So right now, there are no centralized exchanges, so most, people opt, um, so most people opt to go the peer to peer way. So these exchanges are not controlled uh, locally, for example, they cannot be shut down. So it's much easier for people to just transact uh, between each other. Michael Kimani is a blockchain analyst from PESA Africa, an organization that monitors cryptocurrencies worldwide with a focus on Africa. Kimani says that the fact that cryptocurrencies are unregulated by a central authority also pose challenges. The central bank uh, issue that has prevented companies or startups from building in Kenya, so it's made it really difficult for Kenyans to have formal channels of accessing cryptocurrencies and this has created the proliferation of things like uh, cryptocurrency scams. So one of the reasons the peer-to-peer -peer volumes are going up in Kenya is because there are no formal channels and the only way you can buy is through the peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces and channels. The Central Bank of Kenya has in the past stated that cryptocurrencies are not legal tender in the country. Mongera says he can only hope that his choice to add cryptocurrencies as a means of payment will keep attracting more clientele to his growing business. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi.